Hello, in this uh, clip, let's do an example where we're trying to find the inflation rate in the GDP deflator. Okay, so to do this, we need to know what the inflation rate formula is. So the inflation rate formula is the new value, whatever that is, minus the old value divided by the old value and times 100 because it's a percent okay and this also works for CPI so if these weren't GDP deflator values they were the consumer price index or the producer price index that would also work okay I think I can write a little fatter actually here um, okay so for the first one uh, there really is no inflation rate because I don't have anything to, to calculate it from because inflation rate is the percent change from one period of time to another. Okay, so for this one right here, I can actually see it already, but I'll plug it into my formula here. So that one is 105 minus 100 over 100 times 100. So that's just five, five out of 100 per cent means uh, how many, um, you know, what, what, is, what is per 100. So that's just 5%. And then I guess I can just put it put it as five right there. Okay, so now I'm going from here to here. Okay, so one fifteen minus one hundred five divided by one hundred five. Okay, so that's that difference there is ten. So now I'm going to use calculator. So ten divided by one hundred five is uh, nine point five. Okay. 9.5. That's really bad, right? This 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 country has some inflation problems. Okay, uh, 120 minus 115 divided by 115. It's all implied by times 100. Uh, so that's just five. Five divided by 115 is 4.3. Okay, and then. Uh, 140 minus 120 over 120. That's 20 over 120. Which is one sixth. Uh, I get 16 point or 16 and two thirds. 16, six, seven percent. Okay. So if you had to look at this, you could say, "Wow, inflation uh, got a little bit better in." Uh, 2018, but it got way worse in 2019. Okay, so that's how to calculate the inflation rate using the GDP deflator when you're already given the GDP deflator.